Hi, and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's How To, I want to welcome Don Rockledge from LubriPlate Lubricants Company. Don, how you doing, man? Hi, Tom, doing good. It is good to have you here. We have got a lot going on today, talking about oil viscosity and mm -hmm. how it affects bearing lubrication. So what exactly are we going to see with everything here? All of this you see here is going to help you better visualize how something as simple as base oil viscosity in your grease lubricant can help your application or cause premature bearing failure. Okay, nobody wants that. And you know, if we were to be doing this in the field, we'd want to make sure we wear the proper PPE and, uh, you know, make sure that we're safe. Mm -hmm. And you should do the same for whatever the job calls for. Safety priority number one, always wear the right PPE. All right, where do you want to start? All right, let's start with this motor and two bearings, Tom. This is an 1800 RPM motor connected yeah. to two SAF split housing spherical roller bearings, typical yeah. of what you find in the field. Right. We've got Lubriplate 1444 in this one and our Sin GR 132 in this one. Okay. Well, tell us the difference between the 1444 and then uh, the SIN GR132. Well, how about I show you? Okay. Both of these greases contain 80% oil. Okay. SIN GR132 uses a light viscosity, ISO32 free-flowing oil like that. Okay. Where 1444 uses a high viscosity, ISO680 slow-flowing oil like that. Wow. Watery, very heavy over here. Yeah, you could really tell the difference. Absolutely. SIN GR132 is designed for high-speed spindle bearings operating at 6 to 8,000 RPM, where 1444 is designed for slow-speed bearings operating in heavy washdown environments. Okay. Tom, the base oil viscosity in all greases is extremely important to consider for your application. Now, I notice you have some oil in some tubes over there. It looks like ball bearings. Yes. Um, what are we going to see here? So. Yes, these are tubes of oil with steel balls in them, and this represents your bearing roller. Whoa. The faster your bearing roller goes, the lower the resistance the grease must put on that fast-moving roller. Oh, I'm going to do that again see how fast that was. That just went flying through yes, there. Yes, and that's in the SIN GR 132. And okay. here's the oil in the 1444, a okay. much higher viscosity oil. And you oh. can see the resistance it's putting on that steel ball. Yes, Olympic runners, Tom running. That, that's about <laughs> If That's you, about it if right you there. say so. But yeah. the 1444 is designed for slow speed bearings and heavy washdown environments, and that's great. But we want to be cautious not to use it in high speed bearings. What's going to happen if we do that? Well, higher operating temperatures and potential premature bearing failure caused by roller skidding. Also, the high speed bearing is going to force that heavier base fluid grease out of the rolling element area, causing failure potentially due to lack of lubricant. Wow. Now, I notice we have another demo over here, and it looks like the old cranks on the old jealousy windows. Yeah. Yes, that, we sought those out exactly. But they uh, turn each crank and let us know what you think, Tom. Okay. Kind of easy right there. Okay, that's harder. So that's got to have the 1444 in it, correct? You got it, Tom. Okay. And at slow yeah. speeds, that's not an issue. And that heavy base fluid in the 1444 helps it resist washing out of those wet bearings. But crank up the speeds, and we'll get those high operating temperatures we want to avoid. The same thing happens when we overfill high-speed bearings. For slow-speed bearings, especially in wet environments, we want the bearings full. But high speeds, we want them 30% or less filled with grease to keep the resistance down on those fast-moving rollers. Gotcha. Okay, I know we've got one demo left, and that's our motor, but we got to let it run a little bit. So what do you say we turn this on? Go grab a cup of coffee. Sounds great. Let's do it. All right. Well, that was enjoyable. Let's take some temperatures. Sounds and good. And see what we got here. I got Mr. Temperature Gun. All right, put it right in on there. Okay, Don, on the 1444, I'm getting like 123, 124, 125 in there. And we'll check the SIN GR 132. Oh, wow, that's, that's about 20 degrees less, even more. I'm, I'm getting just under 100, 98, 99, something like that. Yeah, you could really tell the difference. Absolutely. And then, Tom, imagine if we had a 3600 RPM motor, we'd have much higher temperatures on the bearing with 1444 in it and potential premature bearing yeah, failure. Yeah, we don't want that. No. I mean, great. All great demos today, man. Thank you. Really gives us a visual of how oil, the viscosity, does affect all the bearings for stuff like that. Thank you, Don, very much. Thanks for having me, Tom. Good stuff. That was Don Rockledge. He is with LubriPlate Lubricants Company. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, contact your nearest Motion Industries rep. Hey, they'll be able to help you out for sure. We did have the PPE on the table in case we needed it. Remember, always make sure that you're wearing the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. Stay safe, priority number one. Number two, head to mihowto.com, and you can check out other videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Great demos just like this one. Thanks for watching today.